Hello, today's devotional can be found in Helaman in chapter 16, verse 21. And they will by the cunning and mysterious arts of the evil one work some great mystery which we cannot understand, which will keep us down to be servants to their words and also servants unto them, for we depend upon them to teach us the word. And thus they will keep us in ignorance if we will yield ourselves unto them all the days of our lives. Okay, so the evil one is Satan. Satan is just a spirit, but Satan has a lot of power as a spirit. Because there are people who leave themselves vulnerable to Satan. And... We really don't understand much about Satan, except that he's a, a fallen angel. And that he gave up his right to mortality because he rebelled in the premortal existence against God, Christ, and all things good. And he took with him several spirits. And they became perdition. And he and his fellow spirits inhabit the hearts of men and slowly turn them away from goodness through cunningness and subtleties and lies that are so easy to decipher as deception that yet, yet so hard to prove that they're wrong sometimes. And men, being as they are, will sometimes fall into, will often fall into Satan's traps. And they'll become servitude. They'll become servants and in a servitude to Satan. And Satan does not wish any of us to grow in God and Christ. He does not wish us to realize that we are children of God and very valuable. He does not wish us to realize that the atonement of Jesus Christ can help us. He does not wish to teach us anything. He wishes to just show us things that seem right but are very, very wrong. And then he, God, he will show us the choice. He will show us how it is easy to make the choice. And how the way he encourages is easy and doesn't take as much work as Heavenly Father's way. And then when men have made that choice to go the easy, quick way instead of the way that will bring forth learning and growth. Satan will abandon them. Satan is not a teacher. We depend, I mean, men depend on him to teach them things sometimes, but Satan is not a teacher. Sa Satan is a deceiver. He shows us a supposedly easier way, and then he disappears. He doesn't stick around. He leaves people to suffer at the mercy of the choices they have made. And people become trapped by their choices and wither in ignorance. And those that continue to yield themselves to poor choices will wither in ignorance. But there is a way out. The atonement is the way out. All you have to do is seek it. Because nobody deserves the hellish pain that Satan puts them through. Nobody deserves that. But it's all about choice in the beginning. In the beginning, it's all about choice. And we shouldn't be afraid to make the right one. 
And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.